Hey there, my name is Dimitri, and in this video, we're gonna dive into this amazing template that you have here from Softer. This property management template is awesome. So with everything that goes into it, we're gonna dive into a complete tutorial on how it works. Let's dive right into it. As a property manager or landlord, to keep track of properties and related data in one place. To get started, you can press the preview option right here, and you'll see that we can press home to be right here, or if we press the login, there are a couple of different levels of user here. One's admin and one's property manager. So we wanna actually just put this into our workspace. We can press use template, and I'm gonna select a data source that works for me. I personally am gonna use Airtable. Continue and copy the base to my account. So after adding this base to my Airtable account, you'll notice that we have a few different tables here. We have users for Nick and Jeff, some other properties within here like their email, what user type they are, and some good old fashioned photos. I actually made this template, so this is one that I know very well. If we go to the software studio again and press create application, it's essentially gonna take all that data right here. You can see the base is over here and uh, add this to the application. So let's go right into it. All right, let's preview this as an admin. If we go to a logged in user that's an admin, you'll see now that we have in the real estate section, properties, and then their units under them. So all of these different pages, right? So what we have here is essentially a bunch of different properties. And if we click inside of any of them, they are going to have units within them. But clicking inside of the properties references the actual rent. So how much people are actually paying based on the potential rent. So you'll see there's no lease units here. But if we did need to update anything as an admin, we could. And we could add different property managers, the units, uh, but below, you'll notice that the landlord is Beverly. We can adjust that to a different person. We can change that to Arthur Snyder. And then in this landlord section right below, it would adjust to Arthur Snyder. And then here, we have the two units. So let's click on this and you'll see inside of a unit, it also has specific info like who the landlord is. And as an admin, we're able to update the main property, the name of the unit, whether it's vacant or leased, the rent amount, its furnish status, how many bathrooms and bedrooms, as well as who lives there. All of these sections down here have the ability to add a new tenant, if that is the case related to this unit. And this entire system also has inspections built into it. So if we do need to add an inspection, you absolutely can within here. And it comes fully equipped with the ability to attach it to whatever unit you need, put the inspection date and add the status as well, as well as the inspector name and the description. And after it's put in there, you can essentially update it if need be, as you can see right here and if we only want to look at like what's in progress, we can filter it out rather than showing completed ones. By clicking inside of any of these, this in fact goes to a inspection details page where there are even subtasks that coincide with it, as well as the properties related to this inspection. Now for the upkeep page, this essentially, this upkeep dropdown, this essentially has the inspections that you just saw from an overview standpoint. And the contractor section has the different contractors that can fulfill these types of inspections and even tasks as well. You'll see that you can filter here by the different service types. So we got a myriad of different options here, right? So we got all these. If we go inside any of them, we will see some more info on them as well as what tasks they have done update their info by pressing this button and see all the tasks that coincide with them right here got a nice image who the task assignee was and what's the deal with the task itself so all this kind of flows together it's a very robust but effective template uh, coincides together extremely well and if we need to add a contractor we definitely can and you'll see just how many there already are so if we have any other reasons we need to add them 
we absolutely could. If you're looking for a specific one too, like if I just want VizPod, there it is right here. Now regarding the landlords and tenants section, uh, we actually have basically a repository of different people, uh, whether it be the landlords. And as an admin, I have the ability to essentially add, delete and update all of these different people. Updating and adding essentially have the same fields. And for this adding, for example, you just add to what property they're attached to, just like you could on the property side, add them as we talked about earlier. And then in the three dots right here, if you're no longer needing them, you can absolutely delete them. No worries. And the same pretty much goes for the tenants. We have a very similar layout here, which gives you some info on your different tenants, like where they're at, what unit they're under, whether they're paying their leases or not. You can add, delete, update. And I currently have it set up to only the first five tenants, but you can change that amount very easily on the back end if need be. For the level of user access, the majority of these kind of come down to the difference between the property manager and the admin are for like adding and deleting, whereas a lot of the other settings are essentially for updates, which can be done by the property managers. This entire system coincides really well together. I personally love the different ways that I can navigate through the system and see all the different components of property management connected within those details pages, and they just really flow well together. If you like this video and wanna see more content about how to improve your skills using software, make sure to check out all of our other templates at software.io slash templates.